Hello and welcome to a not so quick tutorial on photoshopping. So we're going to dive right on in. First thing I like to do is when you have your full picture, I usually crop out everything I'm not going to need. It just to me is a waste of time to have to deal with everything else. So I'll go to about right there. Crop the image. Okay. Um, my method differs from Bill's a little bit in that I'm going to be using the magnetic lasso and then I'm going to be using a quick mask. It kind of does the same thing, but is just a different method of approaching it. So going in and selecting your magnetic lasso, go down here and you're just going to trace her entire outline. This does not have to be pretty. It does not have to be totally accurate. You just got to do it. As you can see, I'm not even worried about the fact that I just cut off half of her face. This isn't going to be your final product. You're just doing this because you need a quick selection. And so, once you have your basic selection down, you're going to go all the way down here to Quick Mask. Quick Mask essentially is just a visual guide of showing you what you're selecting and what you're not selecting. Uh, this is the longest part of the process in that now you go around her entire body and you essentially color in what you do want selected and what you don't want selected. So, as you can see right here, part of her arm didn't make it quite so much with the magnetic lasso. So, what you're going to do is you're going to be using your brushes and your pencils. Um, with that much, I'm just going to use a brush. Uh, use the opacity of around 50. And what you do is, uh, using your diff two different colors of black and white, Black essentially is saying that I don't want this in my picture. So if I did this, this would no longer be selected in there. So let's get rid of that. White is how you paint on saying I do actually want this in my picture. So for this you would go around, using the brushes gives you a smoother edge. You can use the pencils, um, but it just kind of gives a more jagged edge. It's good for filling in like large areas, but then this would be kind of all jaggedy. And so that's when I would go back with the brush and kind of just lightly line it and this will just fill it in nicely. So you're going to keep doing that around the entire body. Oh, where's the big chunk I missed? Her head. Yeah. And so you would essentially just paint in everything that needs to stay in the picture. If you aren't sure where exactly her head is, because it's kind of hard to see over here, just do what I do and just make a big loop around and be like, oh look, there's more of her head that I'm not seeing. Let's just keep going. Aha, there it is. And then just go in with the paint brushes and the pencils and just kind of fill it in. Again, I like the brush because it lets you kind of close up and give a very, very light edge on it. To save some time on this tutorial, I've already gone and done this in another one. As you can see, you just go around her entire body make it very nice and neat and get as close. This still doesn't have to be perfect. It's not completely perfect, but it gets the job done. And so once you've colored in as much as you want, again, color red everything you don't want and keep colored everything that you do want. You go back and hit quick select or excuse me, quick mask. And now you can see that she's pre or pretty much everything we want. Before you do anything else, you need to go up to layer, excuse me, select, modify, and feather. On older versions of Photoshop, I believe this is uh, just somewhere below modify. It's not exactly right here, but you'll see it. You go to feather. What feathering is doing is it's expanding your edge of your selection just by a few pixels just to kind of give a nice smoother flow. It'll clear up a little bit but it'll just give you an overall nicer image. You don't want to do it by too many so I stick to three to five. So for her I'll say three is a good number. And this will uh, feather the edges of your picture. So now you're going to copy the image either by you know control C, uh, whatever the Mac one for control C is, or edit and copy and go over to the background. Since Caitlin's doing the lake dress, I've got the lake background, the senatorial background, or the royal background, excuse me, or royal frame, and Sunrider. 
and I'm going to copy the image in here. Down here you can see that there is the layer, but there's nothing on it, and that's because she's huge right now. Yay! So what I like to do instead of cropping, or instead of even going to image and selecting like a, de or a change in size, I go to edit, transform, and scale. And it just, for me, I like doing this a lot better. The most important thing about scaling down is you need to hold shift. You must, must, must hold shift. If you don't, it'll just become wacky and out of proportions. Holding down shift says I want to keep the same proportions. So you hold down shift and then just start scaling. Oops, keep it up here though. And you pull it back up. Scale some more. And just scale down until you have a size that you want. Uh, since this is the lake dress, I'm going to put more of her in it because we're showing off the dress. Like, and yeah, let's put a tiny bit more in there. About, say, right there. And that would be a good one. So you need to go and apply it. And bam, she's in the frame. The only problem with this method is that now down here, you've got the excess of her dress. So my way of doing it is going and using a marquee tool. Just kind of highlight this area. Make sure that it's still the layer of the picture is still selected, and then just delete it. And bam, it's gone. And voila, you've got her in frame. Um, if you like the image as is, cool. Go and flatten or do however you want to do it to get rid of the background and save it. However, I'm not completely satisfied. Um, a couple things that I want to fix is the edges. My biggest pet peeve on the pictures is when they have like that, you know, that evil little white line, which happens sometimes, or even there's some darker lines on her that I want to clear up, you know, just stuff that didn't quite make it in the quick select, but I want to clean this up a little bit. What I like to do to clean up the edges is go over to eraser, eraser tool, and then I go up to the brush, and I set the brush around an opacity between 40 to 50, so say like 45 right now. And using like a small enough brush size, just kind of go around and very lightly get rid of the edges. I know you really can't tell, but there's just a couple darker spots that I'm just cleaning up a little bit. It's also if you have a jagged edge on like hair or something else, you just kind of brush over it and it'll just get rid of it just a tiny bit, enough to make it look a little better. So bam, there you go. A not so fast way to Photoshop, but an easier way to do it for me. Um, I'm still not done with this picture, but I will move that into a second tutorial, which I'll start in a second, of how to clean up the images, how to fix some colors, how to sharpen stuff up a little bit, and just make the picture a lot better. So yay!